Let's talk about JavaScript variables. Specifically, in ES6, two new keywords were introduced. They're called let and const. Before we dig in and look at those, let's start with some ES5. In my JavaScript file here, I'm gonna type a variable declaration that I've written many a time. You say var, variable name, and then the value. If you've written any JavaScript, this is not new to you. But let's talk about var and maybe some of the ways it's kind of a jerk. If we come over here, we have this script tag right here, one.js, that we've brought over into this file. We'll say console.log, hello, go to Safari, refresh, and sure enough, down in the developer tools, it says hello. Fantastic. So that means that what's happened is when we brought this file in, it globally brought this variable in with it. If I come down here and say var hello equals hi, well, not only did it let me change the value, it let me just redeclare the variable like nothing ever happened. But what happens if we don't declare this here, right? We've got a declaration, a value assigned, and maybe over here we're doing a bunch of different things. And somewhere in our code we say, if something evaluates to true, we need a variable and we want to call it hello. And we want to say, hi. We come back over here, we refresh, and it says hi. Well, once again, this is a small example, but if you have lots of JavaScript files, this is going to get maybe a little unwieldy. Another thing to mention um, is that var does let us declare variables in functions that are scoped just to these functions. So we can say, hey, console.log, hello, come over here, whoops, come over here, call this function, refresh, and that works. But we just got, I mean, we've got variables scattered all over here. And as a project like this grows, when you just put variables into this one big global space, it's going to be hard to keep up with. So let's talk about some of the new variable definitions we have available. Starting with this keyword called let. We'll say let variable name equals value, just like var. We'll come over here. We'll say console.log hello refresh and it works just like we expected. Awesome. But let's look at something else. Let's go over to this file and let's declare hello again. And let's say hello equals hi. When we come back and we refresh, well, this is new. It says cannot duplicate variable hello. And this is awesome. This means that first and one, we declared hello and signed it a value. Here, we tried to declare the variable again and give it an, uh, this new declaration, a new value. ES6 said, no, you've already declared this once. This is protection. Another nice thing about this is that it still works like a variable. I can assign it new values. I just can't redeclare it. So let's look at one other feature about this. Let's say we say if true, let hello equals hi. So maybe we try to redeclare it inside this conditional. And first, let's go delete this. So we'll refresh. And sure enough, we didn't get that warning saying we're trying to redeclare this variable. Because what happened is we tried to declare hello inside this conditional. Using let, your variable is scope blocked. And when I say scope here, I mean these curly braces after the conditional. When we define hello here, it's not trying to globally define it. It's just trying to define it in the context of these curly braces. And that's awesome. The second keyword I want to look at is one called const. Const is short, I assume, for constant. Makes sense, right? And it's a constant like you might expect in other languages like Ruby, JavaScript, so we're going to console.log a price, and we're going to use the const keyword. We're going to say price equals 200, and then 
uh, we're going to refresh and that works and that's awesome. What we're going to try and do now is say price equals 300 and we get an error. We attempted to sign to a read only property. That's awesome. That's the way constants work. And that's nice because we can set values that don't change. The other nice thing is we'll come over here. We'll say price equals 300 refresh and similar to let it won't let us redeclare a constant. This is awesome. So we'll go back, delete this, and then we'll come over here and we'll say, if this is true, uh, const price equals 300 refresh. And once again, our const just like let is block scoped. So we can re we can define these new constants with similar names inside blocks and not affect any of our global variables. This is wonderful to me. So you'll see these two keywords a lot in ES6, and I hope you'll start to embrace this let const lifestyle. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.